If you look at the laser pattern, you can see it's much darker over here and it gets much lighter over here. This is a sign that my laser's out of focus. I just went through and I, I took out some of the mirrors and I cleaned them and I think in the process I moved the mirrors around. So I'm gonna have to refocus the laser. In order to do that, I just take a piece of masking tape and I put it over the laser head just like this. And then what I'll do is I'll turn the laser on and then I'll tap the test switch and then it'll tell me, it'll leave a mark right on the piece of tape where the laser is and I'm trying to get it right exactly in the center of that hole. So it hits right in the center of the mirror and comes out right in the center of the lens. Now I'll go ahead and just try it real quick. All right, turn that off and we'll take a look. You can move it a little bit over this way so you can see. And you can see the laser is definitely to the left. It's um, over this way too much. So what I'm gonna do is just take this and back it off just a little bit. Now let's try it again. So it looks like it moved it over a little bit. It helped, but now I need to move this one down a little bit, just a little bit, and then we'll test it again. I need to get a new piece of tape on there. Whenever you're gonna get your hands close to here, you always take the laser switch off. So even if I hit the test switch or accidentally bump something, the laser can't turn on. So I'll take the tape off, put it on a fresh piece, and let's try it again. All right, and it is centered. Now that we have it focused in this corner, this is the easiest spot to have it focused because it's closest to the mirrors. Now we have to focus it over here in this corner and in this corner. Unless, you, you also can just focus it in this corner and this corner and then it probably is also focused in this corner and this corner, but it's a good idea to check all four. So I move it over and whenever I hit it, you can see that is definitely not too far to this side. So what I'm gonna do is just adjust it a little bit here. And what I've found out is whenever we're getting to this point where you're just moving it back and forth as you move the laser back and forth, then we're gonna need to start adjusting the mirror back here. And in order to do that, I'll take a piece of tape and I'll put it over this mirror, just over this, and then I'll center it on this mirror. And then once I get it centered on this mirror, then I can center it on this circle. Just masking tape is what I'm using and it works fine. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and put some right on this mirror here. Whenever you stick it on, it helps if you run your finger or along the edge. So it kind of defines the edge and you know where the edge is. I'll test it. Okay. And that looks pretty centered on this mirror. So I know that this back mirror here is adjusted correctly. So now I just have to tweak this mirror to get this to work properly. I can just reuse this old piece of tape with just a fresh, a fresh section of it and I'll move it around. You don't wanna move the gantry too fast. You don't want it to send power backwards through the system. So I test it. Yeah, and look at that. That is way off from the hole. The laser is here where it's supposed to be is right there. So we need to adjust the mirrors and just keep tweaking it back and forth. It's a repetitive process like this. So just keep going until you got it. Tweak it a tiny bit. Now let's see how this works. 
right there is centered. Alright, so I have it centered in this corner. Now, let's move it back to the corner over here. And with a fresh piece of tape, I'm just going to continue that process. like it's pretty close it's a little bit high so I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit I need to bring it down okay sometimes you just have to negotiate it you might not get it perfect in both positions but it just needs to be good enough You can see this is just kind of a painful process. It's very repetitive, but it, it, it it's very necessary. You can just see the difference that it makes if it's out of focus just a little bit. You can see it's much darker over here and it's just barely cutting over here. Now I have this centered in all four positions. I have it centered here, 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 and here. It's a little bit, it's not quite as good focus right here, but I'm doing most of my cutting in this area, and that's where it's focused the best. So let's go ahead and take the cut on this rack. I'm gonna bump the speed up to 40. I'm gonna have the laser at 100%. Let's go ahead and cut it. You can already tell it's cutting a lot better. You can see the line is a consistent thickness, it's not varying. And that air assist helps it a lot whenever it's on there. Now I can go ahead and put the air assist on, it helps a lot. And I'm gonna bump the speed down to about a 10, so it'll actually really start cutting. see there's a lot less smoke with the air assist. We made an improvement to the water cooling system. What I did was I took the outlet, like the exhaust water, that's going back into the water. I zip tied it up to the top here so we can hear it drizzling down. So if the pump ever stops working, which I have had it stop working, like one time it just stopped working, I didn't realize it and the laser lost a lot of its power. Like, it was really weird, but it didn't hurt the laser at all. Once I got the pump working on it, again, it worked fine, but that was kind of scary, so ever since then, I got this working, so if the pump ever goes off, we know it has gone off. With the laser all calibrated, this cut out really nice, a lot better than what it was doing before, and with its focus, it's way better. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.